Hey boys, um, today I decided to talk about patch notes and share my opinion about um, what they're gonna implement and how it may affect my gameplay, so here we go. So talking about the unity transfer, I don't think there's gonna be significant impact on optimization just, just from the actual uh, engine transfer. So don't get your expectations high because we're not gonna get like 200 frames on every map. So hideout is an interesting future. It includes um, building and upgrading zones um, and each of those upgrades is going to give you some bonuses. For example, um, the, I, think, I think it involves improving the basic stats of the character, such as off-rate treatment, acceleration of skills and blah blah blah. So let's see how, how it works. Also, we will be able to produce different items. As far as I know, you will be able to produce different bullets for different guns. Uh, however, you will not be able to make the best ones. For example, M995 or M61. You will be able only to purchase them from traders. And as promised long, long ago, any, any, um, it doesn't matter which version you buy, even if you buy the, the cheapest one, you will be able to increase uh, size of your stash. Which is, I think, amazing for um, most of the players, because if you buy the regular edition, your stash is like this fucking big. And um, it's a small disadvantage for EOD players, and I've seen a bit of rant in comments about oh, I bought EOD and oh, I'm not getting the best now. But I think that's, that's a fair thing to do, so everyone can get stash of the same size. Alright, off-rate treatment. Um, I was firstly excited about this one, but then um, after realizing that if someone dies instantly their character's health is restored to 30% made me a bit sad, because I thought the actual, the actual reason for off-rate treatment was to stop hatchlings, but if you die and you can instantly go to the next raid with 30%, like, it's not gonna stop them. They'll just keep running, they'll keep doing hatchet runs with 30% health, and um, this is not what I expected. It's gonna slow down gameplay a little bit, and you'll have to spend extra money on healing, on hydrating, on getting your energy. But I'm a bit disappointed about this 30%, not gonna lie. I'm personally really excited for this one, because I was so done assembling same, same M4s and same HKs. For like hours and hours because I play really aggressive and fast and I tend to die quick and go into the next raid quick so the weapon presets is a big thing for me military base um, the largest map in terms of exploration area I think it doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't necessarily mean is the biggest map it means that there is many locations as far as we know um, buildings on the um, on the military base will be three stores and they're gonna have a lot of rooms and I think we can also get to the bunker area which is under the map and uh, they're also gonna add new new loot yep they're adding new loot to them to the military base and new exfil mechanics let's talk about these ones actually so about exfil mechanics um, as far as I remember there is a train mechanic where a train will physically come to the map and you will have to hop on the train and um, drive the fuck out if you want to extract also they mentioned a um, scav extraction that you need to have a friendly scav I'm not sure if it's PMC plus scav or two scavs together which have to extract but we'll see it in the patch stationary machine guns, stationary grenade launcher is really cool but I want to see how it actually works in the game I want to see the stats for the bullets and um, how fast you can kill someone with this but it's good. New constraints on the location. So instead of getting a, a massive wall, which you cannot uh, reach, you can't jump over it, you can't walk around it, we're gonna get snipers and minefields. So technically the map will be completely open and the edges of the map will be defined by um, areas where you will get sniped by bots and the minefields. So you won't be able to go further. So trader service tactical clothing. So you will be you will be getting five unique sets of clothes for you stick and bear each from Ragman. And the way to get it, you have to level him up. So on different 
on different levels you will be unlocking more and more sets of clothes for example on level 2 you're gonna unlock one on level 3 you're gonna unlock another one and you're gonna unlock a couple more on uh, max level and so on so yeah it says uh, different conditions blah 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 yeah the new trader jagger so he will not be unlocked at the start of the game and you will have to complete one of the quests i guess either like from proper or skier and um, then you will be able to use him and he will also have his own branch of quests which is really interesting i expect his quests to be um based on the military base so i think exploration of the military base quest wise is going to begin from jagger that's my point uh, his range of products will have a larger number of unique items, so I guess something like, um, I don't know, maybe they'll transfer a thermal scope to him, um, medical surgical kit with which you will be able to heal your black limbs also will be viable from him, this is what I expect and uh, we have to see, and he will also have minimum margin on the goods price, so for example let's say uh, you buy water from him for 2000 rubles and you can sell it back for 1900 this is what it means so i think he'll become the best trader to sell items to whenever you find lions bitcoins pro kill medallions i think he'll be the trader who pays the most all right new boss uh Guhar. so he's located in the military base and um basically he's gonna play defensive he's gonna stay inside the buildings most of the time and he has a six-man team and each member has his own role so there are guards which are always close to the boss stormtroopers which actually gonna push you and um, the head watch are actually the ones who will spot you so you should definitely you should definitely watch out for those ones as i said he will try to stay inside not push too far and um, we have to see how they play as a team we also know that they can use stationary weapons and they um, may attack or retreat depending on the actual boss. So um, it's going to be pretty interesting to watch. Also this is an interesting thing that they use all available weapons. So it will be, it will be interesting to see if they actually use something like a silenced RSS or a DVL. I think this would be really... Um, really juicy loot from them not gonna lie as well as they wear heavy body armors and helmets uh, so i expect altons uh, maybe fast mts also i i heard that um if you try to extract by the train and you call the train but you don't hop in really quick the scav boss might actually push the train platform and you will have to to kill him or um choose another extraction Alright, new boss uh, Sturman. So basically he he's located on Samuel of Woods and um, he has a common funded stash with different items and he keeps the key to himself. So to actually go inside, I guess you have to get the key. I don't really know if the key has multiple uses or only one because if you remember, they teased a picture of marked key room where it has five uses so i wouldn't be surprised if you can get this key and it's gonna have only one use so he has a team of two guards and he tries to attack from a distance and um we just have to see because um they they talk a lot about tactics and stuff but uh, i actually want to see how it looks in the game and um it might be it might be a bit different from what we expect added a lot of weapon parts and modules that's cool have to see which ones for which guns because if they add a lot of modules for taws i will not be excited all right so they had new um 12 and 20 caliber shotgun cartridges and i think it's going to be game changing because if the shotgun can finally penetrate armor uh it's going to become a viable weapon in my opinion Alright, they had new cartridges for 5.728, this is for P90 and uh, 5.7, alright, new equipment, new beginning of treatment of blacked lamps with surgical kits, this is what I'm excited for, because I'm so done spawning on the map, a random scav blacks out my arm and I have to play for like 5-10 minutes with a 
a blacked out arm not being properly to ADS and push people so this will be a game changing thing for me and I think I will always keep one in my gamma container and take it with me in every single raid all right, thermal image device T7, as far as understood, is going to work same as the night vision. You will be able to put it on or take it off your helmet. And uh, I'm interested on in how many FPS we're going to get in the actual visor. Because, for example, now if you use a thermal scope, I think the maximum refresh rate of the thermal scope is 45 frames, if I'm not mistaken. So if it's 60 or above, I'm really excited for this device. New consumable items alcohol so um it's cool you will be able to make alcohol in your uh, hideout and um, i'm not sure if they implement the actual alcohol effect you're gonna get drunk and your vision will become blurry or something like this but i'm excited to see how it works like new fracture sound effects i guess um your pmc is gonna make new noises he maybe they added some voice lines let's see Alright, new weapons, uh, AH-12, uh, we've seen that, P-90, we've seen, Beretta, we've seen that, 5.7, we've seen that, TX-15 is actually um, an AR rifle, um, I don't know if it's gonna have better stats than M4, or it's gonna be worse, or it's gonna be used more like a sniper rifle, we have to see, but I'm happy to see that they're adding a um, new AR platform, because I'm a fan of an M4 and an HK, and um, I might consider this gun to be um, my main one. And they also had an MP5 Curse, which is a really short version. I think it's gonna take two squares uh, if it doesn't have a mag in it. So, man, all right. New quest for all traders. Excited to see that, but also it means that the grind for Kappa container will be even longer unless they change it. And they also reworked some old ones. As far as I know, they um, they took some quests out of the um, out of the tree. So they made separate trees for main quests and side quests and they said that the side quests are going to be the grindy one like for example when you need to kill 5 billion scavs um, during the night time with a small AK wearing a thermal scope for proper. So quests like this are going to be, um, they're not going to be the main ones. New 2AA, have to see how it works, same here. Alright, new grass is an interesting one because they say it's going to render on a long distance. And uh, I think it's gonna affect gameplay on such maps as Shoreline, Customs, and uh, Woods. Because if someone camps in the grass right now, you can easily spot them because they're not covered by anything. And this new implementation actually gonna help them to hide. So I don't think it's gonna be a big benefit for me. However, I think this is a good this is a good um, addition to the game. New explosion effects. Have to see how it works. Have to see how it looks like. New variable animations of a first aid kit treatment. Because um, right now when you activate, um, medkit is always the same animation. He takes out and he bandages his arm. And I expect to see some different animations. Maybe he'll take the bullet out. Maybe he will um, He will actually sue his arm with a kit. Have to see. Interesting one. Transfer all um, button for items to first screen. That's a good one. For example, if you sell something on the flea market and you get ton loads of cash and you you don't want to keep dragging it into your stash you just click one button and it all goes in there good one context menu for first aid kits cure all when out of the raid so basically if you die you are stuck at 30 percent of your health when you get back to lobby and it will slowly keep regenerating and you can heal limb by limb if you want or you can just click this button and you instantly gonna get cured and you can go in your next raid fully healed so this is an interesting one for people who like to make the most money out of selling weapons. So right now, you, uh, if you want to sell scope and silencer for, let's say, skier who pays the most, you have to physically take all the items of the gun and it can take some time. Well, with this button, you can actually click it and all the items will get uh, off the gun and it's going to be much faster to sell them. Alright, so all of these are um, quality of life improvements, I'm not really gonna go through them, but I'm happy that they making life easier for us. Alright, optimization is really cool, all of this is really interesting, but the only thing I care about is, am I getting extra frames? And if not, none of this really makes any difference for me. So, have to see my frames and then we can decide. Alright, bot improvements and fixes. So, um, apparently they tried to make bots more, um, 
more active so right now they're gonna greet each other show gestures and uh, transit information um, I expect to see some interesting dialogues and I hope they added new voice lines also request of a player's cap it's not working properly now for example if you ask ai bot to follow you half of the time he follows you half of the time he stands still but he doesn't really have much uh, much reaction and i really hope this is going to be a new interesting mechanic and um, i'll try to make use of it if i play as a bot now idle bots will actually look around crouch and that's that's great because right now they just stand still ai fixes all right and there is a lot of bug fixes i'm not really gonna go through of them because um all bugs can come back the new bugs will appear so not really much point to go through those ones changed now all body armor cannot be worn with plate carriers so basically if you want to wear a gen 4 and then you want to chuck a tactic on top you will not be able to do this one um since i'm not really wearing plate carriers this is not going to affect me in any way but this is not the feature i want to see because plate carriers are underused now and um, right now with this change when you can't wear armor and plate carriers at the same time i think even less people are going to use them um unless unless plate carriers going to become cheaper or they're going to change some stats this is a bad change in my opinion Good change about Gamma that you can't put certain uh, containers, weapons, rigs, and backpacks in um, in your Gamma. This is a good change. Some keys have a number of uses. Um, the one they teased was a marked key room with five uses, but they said they're going to implement the key with more. So I think it's going to be like 20 uses maybe, or even more. In Trader's menu, when redeeming items, they are marked as out of stock. I think this is a good one if i as far as I understood for example if um skier has let's say a scope and all of them have been bought out you don't even see the item on his screen so some new players they don't even know about the actual existence of the scope because they never seen the trader have it and right now i think you will see the scope but you won't be able to buy it as it's out of stock so if it works the way i understood it that's a good one Rebalance 9x18. I hope they add more penetration because right now pistols are actually useless, in my opinion. A lot of rebalancements for mm, stocks and other weapon parts. Have to see, have to make the new meta. Improve the recoil system and the impact of skills on the recoil. Reduced bonus to the running sprinting speeds from strength scale. So, as far as I understood, those two, they actually. Um, change amount of um bonuses you get from leveling up your skills i mean right now if you get your ar rifles and you get your recoil control on max level you basically have no recoil on the modern guns so i want to see how it actually affects um end game and the last one i want to touch on is um remove the option to set the priority lot at the flea market i think that's a good one it doesn't necessarily make a big change, but I think there will be less scams on the flea market when you accidentally click on the most expensive priority lot instead of clicking on uh, the usual option. So I think that's a good change. And um, I haven't covered all the points, but I think I covered most important ones for me. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Twitch. Here's the link. And there is also a link in the description. And um, thank you for watching. See you later, guys. Take care.